say it's synchronous, meaning to the uh, meaning to say it's real time. When you have uh, the so-called student scheduled at 9 p.m., for example, you need to meet that per, uh, that student by 9 p.m. or else you will lose uh, the job or you will lose that set um, student. Hello, Miss Grace. Yes. Hello, Ma'am Grace. Yes, sir. Okay, let's just have a pause for a moment. Is Mr. Duca here? Um, our tech support is actually here. Um, hello, uh, Mr. Duca, are you here? Okay, so uh, we have a message from the tech support. Um, if there will be a chance that um, this webinar will end, you will just click on the same link. Okay, so Mr. Duca is actually here and he's a tech support and they are messaging us that, um, okay. Oh my G, okay. it's less so, than a minute. <laughs> yes, actually, so. I'm oh, um, sorry. Okay, you just go on the same link when um, this, um, um, you know, call and just go on with the same link. And then after that, we will give you. actually understand what is given by the teacher next universal design for learning so we have uds strategies uh, a learning design wherein there should be a specific uh, curriculum for a said school next we have low tech and asynchronous activities for her we should give these students a breathe of fresh air since most of the teachers give a lot of tasks online so we should also give them low tech asynchronous activities since they are also human just like us they are actually being bombarded with a lot of works culturally relevant pedagogy so culturally re relevant pedagogy has something to do with what is in there in their environment so you should uh, we should actually make use of contextualize <coughs> okay contextualize type of approach in dealing with our lessons you cannot actually teach students for example uh, your context is in america okay because you just adopted a text from america and you're actually asking your students to read a specific story for example you don't need to use the exact uh thing that you got you've you have gotten from the net but you can actually adopt uh, culturally based materials which are actually closer to their hearts and feelings. Okay, next we have connected learning and social activities, just like what I've said, uh, since we are just inside our homes and premises, they want to interact with one another. And it, is, it will not be annoying if it's academic noise that they're doing. Again, there should be the guide from the teacher so teaching during COVID-19, don't replicate the school. Again, Zoom fatigue is real. I, it is actually my third online meeting webinar today. So I'm very sorry because I just feel very low bat, bad bat at the moment. Next, we have keep high expectations. So even though it's online, we still need to have the same expectation. But again, the lesser pressure from our students again. It's not a good uh, thing 
to have pandemic. Next, we have abandoned surveillance and control tools. This thing, I think I am half half. Why? Because uh, according to what uh, we had a while ago, what our meeting have, trans uh, have given us from, from our head, we need to have our students uh, cameras open for us to actually surveillance what are they doing if they're still listening to us if they are still attentive it might be i think if it will be short paced but if it will be just like this a lengthy one uh we don't know what are they doing at the moment we cannot control the things that they are doing at the moment so it's half half for me next we have surveillance and control, the use of surveillance, again, reinforcement, compliance, and submission to authority. So if you have established their core from uh, to your students, it is easier for you to give them some guides, uh, some things to do, and some instructions. So low-tech uh, learning is also good in terms of writing, of course. You cannot write at the moment because you need to first visualize you need to uh, you need to think deeper if you are asked uh, if you're going to ask your student to write poems for example or poems they just can't uh, give you right away the poems so you need to give them time to think to imagine things next slide please okay another version was given it's actually a higher education version from a, a fellow filipino dr michael palapalsi so it's uh, she uh, rather he is a therapist from associate professor of health professions education in up deliman Man, or up manila and has doctorate degree in practice and revolve about occupational therapy so for him uh he actually adopted the same thing but it is more adjusted uh, for the higher education students, the college students. And he added their rest, okay? Again, we need to fit and to feel the shoes of our students. And lastly, we have... By the way, these people are very uh, popular in terms of uh, Twitter, even though Twitter is actually... Uh, given an educational taste, okay? According to Eric Scheniger, an associate partner of International Center and Leadership for Education, he's actually a principal, principal of New Millard High School. These are the things under, uh, uh, under, uh, call this, the said management, stress management or the fatiguing of students. So increasing impact and decreasing fatigue with live synchronous videos as in the real-time video so we need to first build a, pers a purposeful discourse okay there should be a discourse what should be argued about a chunk of content delivery so by bits you're actually giving it bite size to your students not a typical huge bite next we have co-create norms with students it's proper to set your rules before an online class it's better if you're going to co-create these rules with your students because you're actually giving them the freedom to set some rules which are actually okay with them and actually okay with you next prioritize standards again it's within the school standard the way you teach just not not going to teach whatever it is under the sun infuse relevance okay things that are relevant for them and things that they may use nowadays especially when they are not doing uh, chores at home take routine breaks okay next we have balance asynchronous tasks so if we're going to meet them real time by synchronous uh, meeting you also give them some time to accomplish tasks in asynchronous uh, level meaning to say scheduled time break up direct instruction again it's not the same face-to-face -face classes that you're going to talk and teach and there's also radiation next we have feedback from kids and families you also ask their parents if they have time and there is a specific uh, communication that you can reach those parents of the kids and reflect deeply on the lesson effectiveness you need to assess if it's uh, effective and efficient for the learner 
And lastly, last two slides, I think. So these are the six top tips of teaching